because you mentioned the magic. Uh, when you look out there, perhaps it's not a scientific question, but you don't have to be scientific all the time. Yeah, well, that's you said magic. So there's a yeah. there, there's a magic to magic that is in part scientific and in part I don't know whatever whatever fills us with awe as yeah. humans when we look up at the stars. Do you think the universe is full of life or not? Like, you know, when you're sitting drinking some wine, looking up at the stars and and wondering as a human, uh, do you think we're alone or do you think it's life is everywhere. I am going to make such an unmagical response to that. My response is that's the scientific response. Yeah. That if we are alone, then the universe is a statistical absurdity. <laughs> yeah. And and I have no doubt in my mind, and that is an unscientific response as well. But I have no doubt in my mind that the universe is teeming with life. What if it keeps dying? This so, is what life does, but, unfortunately. So, so the, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that extinction is, so as a process, as a part of the process of life, extinction seems to be a fundamental, both negative and positive component. Uh, so what if all the, complex life out there just keeps dying and not making way for, like we're actually a statistical anomaly in uh, us being able to survive that L in the Drake equation, being able to survive long enough to form complex organisms of the kind like mammals are, things with brains, well, things that are able L, to puzzle L, L, L is not about that. L is about how long uh, a civilization is capable of being detectable, which means yes, that rich sure. technologies and, you know, being uh, detectable. Okay, so there's a more nuanced things to L because you can have intelligent civilizations that are not very detectable. Yeah, we had civilization for thousands of years. Uh, we started to be detectable 150 years ago. So it's about technology, technology that we can actually uh, capture from, from space. Uh, you become visible to your neighbors. Uh, and, and this is all about the Fermi paradox, right? It takes time, obviously, if we're taking, again, ourselves as a model, but this is the only one we have, um, to get to the point where we become detectable. But look at the age of the universe. Even if life as we understand it, not, not saying even as we know it, but as we can understand it, started 10 billion years ago. And it takes 4 billion years to get to uh, the point where it becomes detectable. That means that the first planet where those civilizations started off, starting to be detectable when we were still cyanobacteria in ponds. So they were, you know, uh, throwing messages and that were passing above our heads at that point. And, and those civilization, when you look at them now, close to 10 billion years after the start, so their sun would be dead, okay? In the best case scenario, they move somewhere else. And uh, what that means is that civilization are going to rise, die, or move and transform themselves. We, we can see ourselves changing. We know that humans are still changing as a species. The human being in, in a thousand or even 500 years from now might not be looking a lot like we are doing uh, right now, who knows where, where we will be. We might be migrating into our planetary system. We might be migrating somewhere else. Well, you said migrating, but it seems when you look at life, it doesn't necessarily migrate, it, it expands. So it's not or place A or, or place B, it's place A and place B. It, it seems to be. expand. It, it, it could be, as, uh, we are talking about the human civilization here. Uh, so there are different factors. If you are a cyanobacteria or any type of, even a mammal that doesn't have the technology to escape the planet we were born on, then it's plan A, it, it's right there. You know, whatever happens to your planet, you are tied to it, you cannot escape it. Uh, for humans, it's a little different. Yeah, it's A and B uh, or whatever, you know, we can. So we have to expect that a number of the civilization, extraterrestrial civilization that might be technologically advanced, a number of them will have disappeared just because they run the course of their evolution or because their uh, sun 
uh, run out of fuel and they didn't have a way to escape or they were wiped out by any kind of event. And then there will, there will be those that survive. 